What I said was, don't be inhibited with your designs. Design the piece and then look for a technique to support it. I felt much more comfortable thinking about the piece and then developing the techniques to make it possible. Now, what can happen with this is that you might end up with something that's impossible. So you have to be willing to say, I can't do it and redraw or rethink. So that's a risk. I wouldn't say that Tay Fridden and I got along that well. He looked at my work that I had done and said, that's all no good. You got to throw all this out and start over. <laughs> that wasn't exactly the way I thought you'd win friends and influence people, but never mind. <laughs> it's the way he was. I was even then looking for a more organic form in things. I used a lot of shaping. It was just the way I was handling the rounding of surfaces and the shaping of surfaces. The major influence was Wharton Escherich and uh, the way he handled shapes and forms. I remember seeing his work in New York City. Seeing his work was permission to do things the way I wanted to do them, not the way a department store would order furniture. I taught for a while at the Craft Students League in Manhattan, and I had a student there that wanted to make a lute. While he was working on this, I realized what an interesting form this was. Somewhere in there, it did occur to me that I could use that for an opening desk. That's where that started. That was Mr. Robinson's lute. The desk form has always been very intriguing. When it's shut, it's just pure form. You might or might not know that it was a desk that opened up so you could use it. I really en enjoyed the teaching, and I met so many really good students, and so many of them are still out there working. I'll always have that. It was a really good experience. I found out how interesting it was working with talented students. But what happened with the Boston group is it attracted this incredible group of students who were really a great bunch to work with. It was like all I was doing really was providing a pleasant place for them to work. They were just churning out good things. It was an amazing 10 years, really. I've always liked making chairs. They're open for a frame system of some sort that you have to figure out how to make. I like that. I guess I'd say they make a good counterpoint to the carcass that's closed. I've done quite a lot of chairs. Some of them are feel better about than others. The chair has to be approached as an engineering project because you fling your body on it and has to hold it without cracking. It leads to a lot of thinking relative to the structural engineering. I don't feel that's a hindrance. It's a big adventure. <laughs> I'd like to make another one of those sideboards. It's got a joint in here that I don't think anybody has ever used. Tay Frid would be in much chagrin. <laughs> Inventing joinery again. <laughs> oh, there's my chest of drawers. I was seeing the chest of drawers almost like the shape of a person standing there. And I guess I was trying to get it to speak back to me. There's a miter on the front here. It's a picky, picky joint because it's a half-blind dovetail on the end. It's why I do this. It's sort of a, one of those things which I just enjoy working on. A certain amount of patience necessary. I grew up with the idea that um, you made things. All the members of the family had a workshop at home. I got used to the smell of wood and, well, what are you making? And my father, of course, had a workshop. Thinking was, well, if, if you need something, you make it. I started repairing uh, things for the neighbors. I did repair work on various antiques. This would be when I would be 12 or 14. 
it completes things for me to work on various pieces. And if there's a um, customer for them, okay. If not, I'll make it anyway. <laughs> I've got more than the customer. They can have the end result. I've got the fun of developing the original idea. Oh, this whole business of developing the piece, it's the uh, process of doing it, being completely involved in it. That's what I want. And I can't sell that. And, and they can't buy it.